I'm usually not one to advocate for bombing in the traditional sense. That's because the normal method usually involves flying over a base, entering a shallow dive, putting the reticle on the target, and mashing the spacebar. Doing it this way is very easy and practically guarantees a 100% hit rate, but you have to be very close to the base in order for it to work, which can leave you vulnerable and out of position. What you don't see nearly as often is people taking advantage of the other release mode, which is CCRP or Continuously Computed Release Point. In CCRP mode, you set a point on the ground and the ballistics computer will automatically release the bombs at just the right moment. Bombing this way offers some unique advantages, but requires a few extra keybinds and an understanding of how to use it. But it's a lot more fun to do and it's something that's available to you that you should at least be aware of. To check to see if a plane has CCRP, you can do that in the hangar using X-ray view. Alternatively, you can check this list on the wiki linked in the description, which is usually up to date. To use CCRP, you need to designate a point on the ground as a target. There are two ways to do this. The first is by pointing your nose at the ground and using activate target point. The designated point is represented by a little red box, which is called your SPI or sensor point of interest. Using activate target point lets you put a point anywhere on the map, but if you're going for a base, using switch mission bombing target will snap your SPI onto a base and continuing to press the button will cycle between available bases. With the designated point on the ground and bomb selected, you'll see the text change from CCIP to CCIP CCRP, and you'll see a vertical line running through the target. On this line is a circle and a horizontal line. Both of these adjust to stay level with your crosshair. With CCRP enabled, your release key will not drop bombs when you press it. Holding it down grants release permission, which is shown by these little lines around the circle. Bombs only release if the button is held down at the moment when the ballistics computer thinks the time is right. Because of this, you need to use deactivate target point to remove the selected point and exit CCRP mode if you want to go back to bombing normally. With CCRP, your bomb release quantity is very important because you need the right amount of bombs to release at the same time for the sake of accuracy. If you don't select a bomb quantity, your plane will only release one or two bombs. Use switch secondary weapons to select your bombs, then use secondary weapon ripple quantity to select how many bombs you want to release. Your only options are 2, 4, 8, 16, and salvo. The set quantity will release that number of bombs. In the case of Salvo, it releases all bombs of the selected type in rapid succession, but not at the same time, so in my experience I tend to find it's less accurate. If you can, try to use a loadout that lines up with a selectable quantity. For example, 8 1000 pound bombs works really well with CCRP. With a point designated and your quantity selected, you need to line everything up. It's easier to do this with maximum precision in virtual HUD view, but you can absolutely use CCRP from third person as well. You want to have the center of your crosshair centered in the circle on the vertical line. The vertical line should be running straight up and down through the target, your wings should be level, and the velocity vector should also be centered on the vertical line. If the velocity vector is to the side of the line, that means your plane is drifting, which means your bombs will drift too. As you approach the target and get closer to release, you'll see the horizontal line start moving down. Press and hold your release key, and keep it held down until all your bombs have dropped. Once you're familiar with using CCRP on level flight, you can move on to toss bombing. Essentially the same thing, but you release the bombs in a climb. As you get close to the target, usually about when you're even with your own bases, gradually pitch up. Once you see the horizontal line start moving down, stop adjusting your pitch and wait for bomb release. Knowing how close to get to the target before pitching up and how far to pitch up is something that you just have to get a feel for. Bombing this way lets you throw your bombs at the target from much farther away, but as you can imagine, if you're not perfectly lined up, you're gonna miss the mark. However, if you do it right, the accuracy is shockingly good. I mentioned 8 1000 pounders being good, and this is why. In this example, I release them when I'm over my own base, they fly for quite a while, but they do eventually all nail the base. Like I said, try to use a selectable quantity like 4 or 8, and avoid salvo mode if possible for best results. Toss bombing is much safer than normal CCIP bombing because you don't have to fly over a base and possibly through enemy fighters to release your bombs. Of course, toss bombing has a few drawbacks. Obviously accuracy can be a problem, but it also takes a very long time for the bombs to follow their arc to the target, nearly a minute or more, which means if you have teammates that are bombing, they will get to the base before your bombs can get there, assuming they survive. Usually teammates will go for outer bases first, and often favor a left turn off the runway, so if you want a toss bomb at the start of the match, your safest bet is generally the inner base on the right side of most maps, but look around at the start of the game and see who's going where. So, all things considered, I think toss bombing is an overlooked and underutilized mechanic at top tier. 
if you're grinding, it's a fantastic way to just throw some bombs at the start of the match and maybe get some extra RP and SL without jeopardizing your plane at all. If your bombs miss or if someone else gets to the base first, it's not really a big deal and you really haven't lost anything compared to getting intercepted before making it to the base at the start of the game resulting in a trip back to the hangar. CCRP might not be something you use every game, but it's a great tool to have at your disposal. Thanks for watching.